Good, uh, blessed uh, Thursday, throwback Thursday, December the uh, 24th, uh, 2020, 2020 time for the change, time for the vision. Uh, it's about 7.20 uh, p.m. It's about 27 degrees outside right now, and I had to come out to get me some air. Uh, you know, I'm doing my best to keep my peace. I do my best to stay away from evil people. I once told y'all about some evil peoples that's related to my two youngest daughters. Some, not all, of her mother's family may her mother rest in peace my daughter's name uh, was actually communicating with their 11 year old brother by their mother uh, visa these uh, Xbox games and they don't really communicate with the rest of uh, their mother family with the exception of one of their cousins one of their mother cousins, and she know who they, she is. But my 14-year-old daughter gave me some disturbing news today. She didn't want to wake me up last night. She was playing with her 11-year-old brother who lived in the Chicago suburbs. And her grandmother, her mother's mother, who's been disrespectful to me uh, ever since I met my daughter's new mother, she didn't like the fact me cleaning her up. She wanted her to stay on the streets. Everything I did was wrong. I brought her down here and she was clean for four years. Out of five of her children, my, oh, my two children is the only two of her children that wasn't born with drugs in their system. But yet I'm a bad guy. But let me tell you something that my children's grandmother told her last night she got the phone from my uh, daughter's 11 year old brother and asked my 14 year old daughter what do you want for Christmas now let me tell you about this lady that asked my daughter what they want for Christmas this lady that live in the row houses in Cabrini Green never worked a day in her life had three daughters that DCF took when they was little children. My children's mother, my children's mother, uh, younger sister, and my children's mother, older sister. She had the audacity to ask my daughter what she want for Christmas, and my daughter told her some money. She told my daughter, you don't need no money. Uh, when you get 18, you can come stay with me because... Yo, I can teach you how to be a lady or a woman because your daddy don't know how to teach you that. Do he let y'all go to parties? Do he let y'all have friends? And that was bothering my daughter. Queen would sleep. Queen would probably gave her a piece of my, her mind. But Birdie is the more milder one. So she just hung up on her because she get tired of her grandmother and her grandmother's other children's and even some of their own brothers and sisters that's grown study disrespecting me. Now, here it is. I wanted to get in contact with her and give her a piece of my mind, but I know some of her people watch this and I want to, I want to tell her something. And I want I, anybody from Cabrini Green know my kids uh, my, uh, grandmother never worked a day in her life I don't even know if she in the country she from the Dominican uh, Republican I don't even know if she in the country legally now let me tell you about this lady I ain't gonna even call her a lady this female because she's not a lady you see what I'm saying she's a worthless human being that allowed a man 
to do something to her three daughters that DCF had to come in the house and take them when they was like my daughter's mother and them was about four. The other one was about two or three and the other one's about 11. DCF ain't never came in my house to have to take mine for that. The only time they came in my house when their mother, my kid's mother was addicted to narcotics and let her mama and her sister in Chicago talk her into telling these people that I was abusing her and they came in my house and took my kids and they took them to Chicago and had them in Chicago for 70 days and 70 nights. Knew my kid's mother was addicted to drugs. The grandmother that asked my daughter what she want for Christmas and the oldest sister of my kid's mother, they was letting her live back and forth in their house putting her out back and forwards. They didn't care about my children. When I got my daughter's and them back, the same one she asked what she want for Christmas. My daughter's arm had been broken in the streets of Cabrini Green. The doctor in St. Louis said for a minimum of two weeks. Can you imagine the pain? My, she was one years old going on two years old. Can you imagine the pain that she was in? But yet, she said she going to teach my daughter's how to be a woman. Now, how could you teach my daughter how to be a woman when you seen your daughter was in the streets, needed help? My ex-wife run off with my kids to come up there with y'all. And you seen her in the streets with my daughter. My daughters them had multiple mosquito bites, malnourished and dehydrated. Filthy. But she going to teach him. How, how you going to teach my 14 year old? My 14 and 15 year old daughters can teach you how to be a grandmother, a mother, and a, and, and a, and a grand, grandmother, and a mother, and a woman. You know, I get so sick and tired of you and your oldest daughter. Y'all wouldn't even let my daughters and them speak at their mother's funeral. That's how low down y'all live, but you're going to teach my daughter something. And let me tell you something. I'm hoping your family listening to this here. Like my kids and them brother, 17 years old, call itself, want to threaten me. What you need to do is try to go find who your father is. The same with your oldest sister. Go try to find who your father is. Y'all study talking, try to talk about my two children's father. At least, at least I took care of your mother. You see what I'm saying? And your grandmother talking about teaching my daughters how to be a mother. When I first met your grandmother, let me tell you where I met at. I'll never forget it because it's my daughter's and them oldest sister's birthday. September the 27th, 2020. She was getting out of uh, the oldest daughter, which was two years old then, was getting out of paddy wagon because the mama, the grandmama went to Jewels stealing alcohol with the young girl. And they dropped the girl off at home <laughs> and took the mama to jail. But you're going to teach my daughter something. You see what I'm saying? I, every time I come up to Chicago, I let my daughters and them come see your worthless behind. You see what I'm saying? You want my daughters there so you can try to get some money. You see what I'm saying? My kid's mother would be alive if she wouldn't have been around you worthless people. Y'all didn't care nothing about her. When I brought her down here, she was addicted to narcotics. I got her clean. She had three other children that was born with narcotics in their bodies, heroin and crack. And I don't fault her. I fought y'all because y'all wanted to see out there so she can steal and bring y'all stuff. Y'all worthless. Y'all some worthless people. I don't even know how to let y'all come in this country. But when you get to trying to tell my daughters and them that I don't know how to uh, raise them to be. They, they the most respectful young ladies that you ever see. They ain't pregnant. They still virgins. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, you talking about my kids, you probably was a you probably wasn't a virgin at 12, 10, 11 years old. You letting your old man do something to your three children. So DCF took them out. Ain't nobody going to do nothing to mine. Let somebody do something to mine. I'm going to catch a homicide. You didn't catch a homicide because you just promoted it. All you wanted was that hair on and crack. 
And you didn't care what they did to your children. But I care what they do to mine. Let a Negro, anybody do something to mine. It'll be a homicide. But I'm going to tell you one thing. You better leave my daughters alone. Y'all already teach my two, my two youngest daughters, other brothers and sisters, that they cousins. When they mother died, the mother had five children. My two children and three other children. Wasn't them three other children. Neither one of their daddies was at the funeral, but I was there to pay my respect. But y'all had it in there as if the sister that got the kids is the mama and her husband is the daddy. And the mom, they mama that died, y'all told them. People was telling them that my kids' mother, other three children, that was their auntie. How is you going to say a lady laying in a casket that gave birth to these children, that's y'all auntie. That's how low down y'all live. Let me tell y'all a name. Aggie Abrera on Cambridge. A worthless female that try to tell my daughter's them that they need to come up there so she can raise them. You ain't raise your own children. <laughs> You, you, hey, listen here. Let me tell you something. My daughter, if I died today, my daughters and them wouldn't go to none of your family. They wouldn't go to none of your children, nor you. <laughs> you still stay in the row houses. You don't pay no rent because you ain't never had a job in your life. You never had a job in your life. You low down. Oh, let me stop, y'all. Lord, forgive me, but y'all better leave me alone. <laughs> when it comes to my daughters, bring it to me. I'm 100% man. I'll put you in the ground. I don't care if you're a female or a male. When you get to messing with my two young daughters, <laughs> you talking about homicide. It will be a murder. Now, you go tell a judge that. You go tell anybody that. <laughs> I'll tell them myself. i tell them down here. Come on this property, mess with me and my daughters or my daddy and see what happened. I'll bury you right in my yard. Peace be still.